Today, autonomous cars can legally ply the roads of California, Nevada, Michigan, and Florida, but so far only under adult supervision. So where do AVs go to stretch their legs and really test their abilities? We're at the Concord Naval Weapons Depot. This is in Concord, California. Back during the Cold War, this place would have ranked just behind France as a nuclear power by warhead count. That's all been decommissioned, and now something of a different type of intrigue takes place here, teaching self-driving cars how to drive in the real world. Car makers have typically tested their new cars on their own test tracks, but also heavily on public roads. An entire industry of spy photography grew up around that fact. But autonomous vehicles are different because bugs in them can lead to dead people. This is the largest autonomous car test site in the world, 2,100 acres, 20 miles of roads, and they've been let rather to go to seed since this base was partly realigned in 2007. That's just fine by car makers because a pristine traffic environment presents few of the real world potholes, faded lane lines, and poorly marked abutments that autonomous cars will encounter in the real world. 99% of the time when we drive on the roads, it's easy driving. 1% of the time, something unusual happens. So by testing at Gomentum Station, we're able to stage those 1% situations, a uh, ball running across the road or a child coming out from between cars. These vehicles see their way around Gomentum Station is many sensors. Here is a high-resolution GPS antenna to make the mapping really precise. Uh, up here on the roof is a LiDAR. This does contour mapping with a, a spinning sensor that sees shapes in the world around it. And then cameras have their own unique ability to not just tell what's out there, but where something is. But what's also being tested here is early implementation of V2V, vehicle-to-vehicle communications, using a slice of RF spectrum in the 5.9 gigahertz band, which then becomes labeled DSRC, Dedicated Short Range Communication. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications, or V2V, is vehicles speaking or talking directly to other cars 10 times a second. Basic information, how fast am I going, what heading am I on, is there uh, an aspect of the vehicle in motion that needs to be transmitted to another car. And what that does, it allows drivers to be warned, but it also allows vehicles to automatically avoid collisions. The V2V wireless spectrum is being hotly fought over by car makers and wireless carriers who each want it. Car makers, though, are wary of sharing it with telcos because their automotive mission is so critical. They don't want to see an autonomous car run into something just because some Netflix packets got in the way of an important signal to the car. V2V via DSRC is expected by the U.S. government to eventually cut 80% of all collisions that involve non-impaired drivers. Honda and Acura engineers are here now. But Gomentum Station would like to add more curious geeks, from vehicle makers to those who may be one one day. Google, Apple, other manufacturers have approached us and we've taken a look at uh, maybe partnering with these companies to begin their testing here, at least in California and Concord at the Gomentum Station. Gomentum Station is in Silicon Valley's backyard, but the groundbreaking M-City testing grounds in Ann Arbor, Michigan, is in the auto industry's backyard and running cooperation with the esteemed University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute. M-City is about 32 acres of intersections, roundabouts, benches, buildings, and parked cars, and also something Gomentum Station doesn't have, crappy winter weather, an important and serious hurdle for autonomous vehicles. Ford's one of the biggest customers at M-City, and they've appropriately been one of the first to announce that they've got autonomous cars testing in the snow. Michigan may soon be the first place with two major autonomous vehicle playgrounds, the coming American Center for Mobility is planned for the old Willow Run plant in Ypsilanti, best known for building B-24s back in the day. It'll be about 10 times the size of M-City, but still much smaller than Gomentum.